Agoris. They are supposed to be religious men in India. In India, we will get to know them as a kind of information, because especially the group that loves to learn about the culture of India notices the appearance of monks in many countries, and they are always very surprised by their appearance, which to us is disgusting. The meaning of the word aguri is those who are not afraid, and this is very natural because unfortunately, most of their rituals are frightening and nauseating. Their basic principle is to transcend the laws of purity, to achieve spiritual enlightenment to unite with God. They worship Lord Shiva and his consort, God Shakti. They break and go beyond the familiar concepts of good and evil. And their way of achieving this is through repulsive habits, such as eating human flesh from the dead, even their waist, in the belief that this increases their state of awareness. The Aguri people are near the crematoriums because they use ashes to cover their bodies with it. The idea itself is truly terrifying. The ashes of the dead are shower gel for them. The Uyghurs always live isolated from society in order to always appear at the Kumb Mela festival. And in general, they do not have requests because they see everything as an embodiment of God, meaning they do not reject or deny anyone. Agoris are generally only men except for some women in Bengal. Unfortunately, the facts about the Aguri are shocking, and shame prevents me from mentioning some of them. They are contrary to nature and healthy psychology, necrophilia, with corpses and on pyres, and their use of human skulls as drinking cups, and their making of necklaces from human bones and animal bones. One of their customs is not to wear covering clothes, or sometimes even without clothes. They also like to smoke marijuana very much, Regarding their status in society, they are clerics, but they come from the lower class of society, except for some exceptions. One of their priests works as an advisor to the king of Nepal. They have prominent community contributions, such as managing a hospital for treating leprosy patients in the city of Farnasi, India. There they take care of patients, and they bless them. The Uyghur community is an origin and a division, it is said that they are a branch of a group called the Skull Bearers, the Kabbalikas. This sect used to appease the gods by offering human sacrifices. Thank God they ended. Finally, they do not marry because of their desire for isolation first and their lack of trust in others. Second, this is the end of the topic. And this is a simple idea about them. And I hope that the topic is new to you and whatnot. Don't forget to make like and subscribe.